here I am in an 860 instance. Before I get into um, specifically into uh, the search piece, let me just show you some changes that we have um, in 860 in terms of the way that the application works and behaves. Um, you'll notice, uh, the, the first thing you'll notice hopefully is that the favorites and recents that are over here that you click on and you slide out are up in the top now. And in 859, they were on the side, which meant they were only on home pages. So we got, we got a lot of feedback that people wanted to use those everywhere. They're up here, they're one click away now. Um, I think that's good. The other thing we've done is because we now are really focused on uh, search-based navigation, um, we have, you can see this as search and menu, that now is no longer on just the home pages and all the applications. Um, so uh, we have that. Uh, and then the other thing that we've done, because we now have this, uh, this in, the, in the header, the title we've moved down to the page and we've split this actions. This actions used to be commingled with PeopleSoft white actions and specific actions for this transaction, which I think was a little confusing. Um, now we have PeopleSoft wide up in this top one, and then we have specific contextual actions in this bottom one. I think that's easier, hopefully for your, easier for everyone to use. You can see these are all approvals actions and I'm on the approvals page. So let me go in and show you the search. And I'm gonna go into procurement contracts. And as I get into procurement contracts, I get to a search page. I have this configured for keyword search. I can just enter a keyword if I want. And I want to search by field. I can do that. This is part of the configuration to allow you to say what fields people can search by. Hopefully, most of the time, people will just search by a field. I'm going to look for a, a contract, but I'm going to, and I'm going to, all I know is the business unit in this case. Um, and, you know, that's not a very, searching by business unit would usually wouldn't um, be a very good way of searching in a SQL based search because there's, a lot of results and who knows what results are going to come up, um, come up to the top. So if I type in the WCARE business unit, you can see I get a bunch of results. What I want on there is not necessarily what I'm looking for, of course, but what's important is the facets that you see on the left. So I can say, I know that this is a, a contract that was in 2022. When I click on that facet, it will narrow the search results. Um, and then I can also, we have what's called um, hierarchical facets. So if I, in 2022, if I know that this was in June, I can go and select June and that'll add June 2022. And so you can see this little chip up here is built and it narrows. And let's say that's all I also want to look at one's uh, contracts, only at contracts that are in the open status. And if I click on that, it'll further narrow the results so that, um, so that now I'm looking at, you know, a, a small set of results. I can see these facets. I'm looking for installation services. If I drill into that, I get to the page and I can see Previous in that list, next in list. If I want to return to the search, I can do that. Um, and here, here I go. Now, specific around configurability, let's say that I wanted, instead of just seeing expire, expiration dates for these, I also want to see the last date that they were worked on. So I'm going to go in here to my favorites. I'm going to go and look and manage the configurable search. Usually this would be an administrator that does this, but I'm, I'm for this demo, I will do it as a user. Um, I'm going to go into the procurement contract setup in this case. And it'll bring me into the configurable configuration page for the search. You can see I can, there's a lot of uh, ex, uh, things I can change on here. I won't go through all of them, but you can configure the search and the add new. I can, um, I can type in you know, whether I want keyword search or standard, uh, the, the page heading, the instructions, whether it's basic and advanced or just advanced or just basic, um, whether I have a single column or double, double column on the results and on the input. A lot of, lot of uh, configuration here that I'm not gonna go into all of it, but what I want to get to is this down here where I now can, um, I can now decide what are the search fields I want to include on that show more um, um, set of fields and what the results are. So here I can see the last date worked is not being shown today in the results. I want to show that. I'm going to come up here and, <clears throat> and save it. And then I'll go back to, um, I'll go back to that contract uh, and show you hopefully that uh, that's all worked. We'll go back in here, here again. And as I as I look and see what these the, the show the results that come up, you're um, going to see you should see on the on the far right and I can change the order of the columns. You can see now I have the last date worked. So Kind of a simple, uh, you know, a simple capability, but very powerful when you consider the number of search pages we have in PeopleSoft. And if you can make finding things easier, you make everyone's experience easier. So um, I'm very, uh, very excited to, uh, very excited to, to have, have you guys um, access to this as it comes.